Chevron's main business is oil and gas. And there are mainly two categories when you work in oil and gas. That is upstream operations and downstream operations. Upstream signifies the initial point where you identify, extract and produce raw materials. While downstream refers to anything related to post-production like refineries, etc. So basically, oil and gas are the raw materials for downstream, but are the products itself in upstream. Chevron's more than 80% of the earnings come from upstream activities, which means if the price of crude were to go up in the market, Chevron would reap the benefits in the upstream market, while the cost would be high for them in the downstream activities. If you look at the average oil price from 2017 to 2021, it has fluctuated from as low as $39 to as high as $68. And whenever it was high, the profits were high. And when it was low, as in 2020, company went into losses. Now, the prices have shot up significantly after 2021 due to various factors like dependence on OPEC for the production, supply chain issues due to COVID, and finally, and most significantly, the Russia-Ukraine war. If you look at the quarterly data, the oil price was about 50% higher than the previous quarter. And for the quarter of 2022, the average price of crude was about $112. Now, the output of the company has been growing since 2017 and was at around 3.1 million oil equivalent barrels per day. And if we were to calculate the revenue per barrel, it comes out to be $72, $93, $81, $54, and $90 from 2017 to 2021 respectively. And when the oil was priced over $60, the EPS was around 8% of the total revenue from upstream operations. Now, if we were to believe the company estimates, they estimate a drop in production by about 3% due to various reasons. So you can see the revenue per barrel has increased almost in tandem with the oil price annually, but not so much quarterly. So if we were to make estimates based on the annual data, the oil price is already about 70% higher and if we were to estimate the same for the coming year, then the likelihood is that the revenue per barrel would increase in tandem with it, around 68%. Now with the 3% drop in production, we can expect $147 per barrel in upstream revenue. And with the EPS around 8%, that would mean an EPS of around $11.83. With the EPS around $3.23 in the first quarter, that makes the estimate in line with the numbers. Now, if we were to assume a P-E ratio of 15, then the price would have to be around $178, which is almost 50% higher than the price in the first quarter. Hope you liked the short excerpt. You can check out the full video linked in the description. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. I'll see you next time.